Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our SIG weekly show. This is Philly, our application engineer. This is Means, our product manager. Okay, uh, I want to ask uh, Means, uh, what, what do we have this week? Oh, this week, we have a big surprise for you. Here is our most anticipated Ciduno Cell expansion board. I'm glad to say that after four months develop, and here we have it this Thursday for pre-order for all of you. And please go to Bazaar on this Thursday and all the order will be shipped until this end of November. So let's see what is the feature of this board. Compared to the previous version group shade for Snow Cell, it keeps its compact and mini size. Uh, we could see that compared to the Raspberry Pi 4, it has just half size of the Raspberry Pi 4. It's really mini for such a board. And you could see, um, compared to the group shade for Snow Cell, it also has the battery charging function. But besides that, it adds a uh, with that button for all of you expected because many users respond that uh, for debug there is uh, some difficulties for click this connect these two pins for just reset so we add and reset button on board when you connect the steel shell you could very easily to reset it by just one click. And if you noticed, there is also some pins we let out here, which is for SWD debug. So for the software developed or advanced user, when you need SWD debug function, you can very easily connect it, the SWD pin and debug here. As you could see, here is a 6.96 OLED display screen here. So as a very tiny and mini board, you can still output the data on the screen. So it will be a very useful feature for this board. And what's more, we can see there are four groove connectors on the board. And these four connectors, including the i square c and J and A, an analog and digital connector, so which will fix almost many scenarios cases. So uh, on the board of this board, we can see there is a RTC battery connector, which means we also add an RTC function on this board. And there is a mini SD card slot. If you think you you would like to download more libraries on Studio Cell or you would like to use Circle Python, it here will be a very useful feature for you. So we also ready for release a case for this mini and tiny board. So if you add the case, it will look like this. And for holding the battery, you could also add a, add a battery base which is very easy to use, like this. Philly, I know you have already made some interesting demos for this expansion board, so why don't you show us now? Okay, now I'm going to show my demos, and this demo is called uh, Remote Controls Fan. Mm -hmm. And I'm used the this one is called the Groove IR receiver, and this is motor, and this one is the Groove server. And um, there have the Groove mini driver, uh, mini motor driver is for controls the the motor. Okay, here is the the board, and now I'm going to connect the I square C. They have the two sends. I squared C, you can connect each one. And there is the driver's cable. I'm just put in here. And this one is the IR receiver cable. I'm just put it in here. Okay, and the last step 
is just connect the power. Okay, now the connection is finished. And right now I want the mean. Okay, you want to try okay. it? Okay. Oh wow! It's wow, it's pretty cool. Yes. And you oh. can remote the the waist, like turn left on turn right, okay. and also you can just turn off and on the the fan. Yes, wow, something it's like that. pretty useful. So what's next? Okay, uh, this one is the remote controlled car. Uh, I'm using the group uh, IR receiver, and there have the two small motor, and this one is the. Uh, power driver is for supply the power to the small uh, motor and also it controls by the ball after you receive the signal. So, okay, mm. let's open them. Yes, okay, okay. on the power now it's work. Okay, here and just go forward, oh, back, it's so cute, and keep going, turn left. Wow, okay, go turn right. Go. Okay, brick. Wow, that's <laughs> pretty like good. That. Yes. So here is it. Okay. If you have pushed the new cell before, you will notice that the pin is not being soldered on this tiny board. And it is a very good feature for some advanced users because they would like to use the cell in many scenarios, maybe without our soldering. So, but for those who just want to use the signal cell expansion board and they not have the skill to solder the signal cell, we now provide them with the signal cell with the pin soldering on board. So you may not need to worry about your soldering skill or you need to buy some solder iron or any other things. Now you just need to go to Bazaar to find out the signal cell pre soldered version and you could have it like this. Last month for celebrating the group 10 years anniversary, we have released a event with award by collecting all users group stories and after that we have 10 winners for winning the $100 group surprise pack on this celebrating submission. So here is the 10 lucky winners. Please kindly contact us via email and send your mailing address to us. Your lucky package will deliver it to you very soon. Congratulations! Happy time flies quickly. It's time to say goodbye. Here is all the update for this week's weekly show. See you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.